The disgraced Duke of York has been given time to assure his brother he can come up with the necessary funds to carry out much-needed repairs on the 30-room royal mansion. Andrew and the King were at loggerheads this summer when the monarch suggested his brother move out of the property and into a smaller four-bedroom cottage on the Windsor estate, vacated by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. But now Andrew, 63, has been granted a stay of execution, despite his annual £250,000 handout being cut by the King and his home needing an estimated £2 million in repairs. It can also be revealed that Andrew had forked out more than £200,000 for roof repairs over the summer, described as an interim payment. However, the Grade II listed house is in need of much more urgent repair including damp throughout the property. Royal sources have confirmed that the King and Andrew met privately at Balmoral at the end of August, during a royal family gathering, where the issues were discussed. A friend of the Duke suggested there had been a cooling of relations with the King and his brother. Andrew was further buoyed by Prince William driving him to and from church during the family stay, representing a further thawing in the camp. Sources have suggested it was the King who told William to put on the show of family unity and drive his disgraced uncle to the Sunday service at Crathy Kirk Church, despite the monarch and his heir being the driving force behind his explosion from public life. The Duke was forced to step down from royal duties after his car crash BBC Newsnight interview in November 2019, in which he failed to apologise for his relationship with the late paedophile financier Jeffrey Epstein. Since then his attempts at plotting a way back into the royal fold have been extinguished by the King and Prince William, who are said to be aligned that the Duke should have no role in public life. Andrew's finances have also been left in disarray, after he was forced to pay £12 million to his sex abuse accuser Virginia Jeffrey to stop a case of alleged assault going to court in the United States. As part of the King's plans to scale down the monarchy, Andrew was offered the smaller Frogmore Cottage, which had been recently renovated by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But the pampered prince rejected the offer and refused to leave Royal Lodge, which he still shares with his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, despite divorcing 27 years ago. A source said, Andrew's stance has paid off. He has refused all attempts by the king to leave his home, dig his heels and the king has relented and granted a stay of execution. He, Andrew, is in agreement that the property needs repairs, for which he has already paid more than £200,000 recently to sort out the roof and has said he will make the further necessary renovations. It seems the king just wants to move on for the time being which might be a good idea for everyone. It is understood Andrew has not divulged how that he is intending to meet the costs for the repairs, while his inheritance he received from the late queen is not known. The Duke has lived in the former home of the late Queen Mother since 2004 with his ex-wife, Sarah, Duchess of York. Palace insiders believe the residence had been earmarked for the Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children after their move to Windsor last summer, in order to be closer to the late Queen before her death last September. They are currently living in the four-bedroom Adelaide cottage, although it is said to be too cramped for the family's needs. Meanwhile, Andrew is standing his ground and referring to the 75-year lease for £1 million as well as spending £7. £5 million repairing and renovating the property over the last 20 years. Fergie, who has publicly defended her husband's character in recent months during PR events for her latest novel, A Most Intriguing Lady. The former royal, 62, who signed a 22-book deal following the success of her debut Mills and Boone-style novel, has stood by her disgraced ex and even offered to help him financially. However, Sarah, who has battled near financial ruin in the past, has just bought a £5 million house in Mayfair, placed in the name of the couple's two daughters, Beatrice and Eugenie. Buckingham Palace did not comment.